Okay. We've gotten back to 167. Now I'm just kind of cruising along with not much to buy. It's not showing up now. Come on. Show up. Show all my monies. All right, well, you'll, you'll show it to me when I do this. Almost 600k. For what will be almost certainly a bumblebee clone. Wanted to wield a hunk of muscle that would make the buffest gym bros and lamest ego lifters cry. Forget bull shark testosterone. If you're looking to bulk up, try the Vigero ZX. Enjoy fast gains that won't leave you with. With nips the size of dinner plates. Okay, that was more information than I ever need about the side effects of steroids. Well, didn't know that. Should we rev it up now? Or should we just do the time warp again? Do any of you guys know how to Madison? Okay, if we're going to do a Bay vs. B homage... Uh, I have a couple in the collection that can serve as inspiration. The first one is, of course, Bumblebee in Space, which is the uh, one from the Dark Side of the Moon. Was that the one? Yeah, which... By the way, this, this was released as, in support of that and has, of course, the rocket engines and all this. And I, I, I would love to think that whatever they would have done with this would have been a cooler movie. It's even got the Subaru SVX windows right there. And it's, it's, it's a SVX window kind of thing going. And maybe we could take some elements if there's any available. But I mean, honestly, you know, I, I don't actually normally get the whole mech tech thing going here. Blue, blue, blue. Normally you display it this way. It looks a little less ridiculous. But. What we're more likely to use for inspiration is this one. And I can't remember. Whoop, don't roll. It, don't stop rolling. Which movie it's out of. But it's it's a nice B. It's got some stripes on it. And uh, the cool thing about this one is not only does it have both hands, it doesn't have like a gun and one arm and a hand on the other. You get two hands if you want, but it's still armed. Because, hold on, we'll. This will be awkward to do with the uh, the phone. Yes, it's got missile launchers that can come out in vehicle mode and retract rather nicely. You can set it that way, it might look a little bit better. But otherwise, very basic B. Nice wheels, the whole nine yards. That's that's my pretty much my definitive Bay vs. B. And now things are a little bit a little bit back to normal. With normal, of course, being very loosely defined. Okay, so here we are. We're going to start working on B. It's pretty close as it is, really. But we can we can make some tweaks. We do have some mods on this already. Armor's already there. Brakes are already there. Bumpers. We can get really wild with this, but... For this build, maybe the trim street bumper? Or we want to go carbon. Okay, it's just the... Oh, I see. So you'll get a little bit of lines around it that match the trim color. That's supposed to do in carbon. Otherwise, the front bumper's the same. Okay, we'll leave that as it is. Rear bumpers, carbon diffuser. Yeah, we might as well do that. You can, again, you can go crazy here a little bit. The yellow kind of more matches the plastic. That's a bit, bit much for what we're doing here. 
could hold that thought, you know. But the black, I think, you know, I think probably better matches the intent of what the car would look good if it had enough paint. You know, that kind of thing. A little more paint. And let's see. Those are interesting. I think yeah, I think we'll go around it here as far as as a round-ish. I mean, do we go with the double? Again, that might that the the carbon secondary double exhaust with that little black and yellow stripe kind of thing going. Very B. Grill, black sports grill. Hmm. That's pretty good. Chrome. Lots of different kinds of angriness there. I think a black sports grill for our purposes here. Hood. Secondary hood. The one that there we go, aftermarket hood. That's gonna fit our shape. We could put the vents on it. Street hood. That is that doesn't look good as well. Oh, that 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 has a little bit of the neck tech to it, although it's not just actually sticking out of the whole thing. We want to go that route just for the just to pull the other car into it. The space car. That's a bit much. Hmm. That kind of fits the shape of the original. The racing scoop hood. Let's go racing scoop hood. Lights, neon kits, neon layout, front, back, sides, neon color, obviously. Headlights, xenons. Livery, here we go. Black stripes. Those are kind of simple compared to the actual cars. So let's see, we do stripes color. Gives it a little bit more complexity. Weekend Racer. Wow. This this looks like the you know, the Duke boys tried to paint the General Lee while they were. Mayor Joanna. Oh, 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 shame, shame, shame on you, Dukes. Now I have chased you for years and days, but I never thought you'd stoop so low as this. Uh, Roscoe, 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 Rosco
Chrome aftermarket louvers. That looks highly mech tech. Okay, this is making me rethink things. The one car had stripes, the other one did it. That looks very Transformers, you know, to the... So if we did that, we're back up to the hood. Where's the one? I pass it right off. Did the second, do the, just the regular vanity hood. Gives it a little bit of a mechan more mechanical, alive kind of feel to it. Yeah, it doesn't match the hood on the, the one car as well. The other one with the scoops does match. But this one kind of gives you, oh, I don't know. We'll stick with that, with the way it matches on the other car. And that might be the one... Of course, we could, if we go back to to louvers. Just do carbon aftermarket louvers. Thinking of the not too much chrome uh, bubble over here, but that is funky at least. I can't tint the, tint the windows blue, so that kind of works. wonder if there's anything... Uh, if it'll protect you at all. Since I dropped my robot. Actually, look at that. that the, at the, the lines actually looks much like the robot does. Where actually, it's coming apart. I think the GT mirrors fit the look from the original car pretty well. Wait. We should have B. And one thing we'll do on yellow and black. There you go. B. Respray. Let's see. Primary color. Metallic. Obviously, we're doing yellow. You know, metallic, though, gives us a little bit of options to do so. Do we want to change it, though? Isn't that like kind of a perfect yellow? Do we really want to respray anything? Why, why spend the money if it's already perfect? The roof, not really too many changes to the roof we want to do here. Skirts, carbon skirts, let's say. I don't want to go crazy on the skirts. I almost never do. We could get carbon in the back. Do we have carbon in the back? Cool. Spoiler, stock stroller, secondary spoiler. And we could get silly. We have to change it up to stock to get it to work, but we can make it look exactly that way. Primary aftermarket, we'll go kind of slant forward. Let's do that. I don't know that it looks better than the stock stroller, but it's a little bit lower, a little bit more technical. Sun strips, not going to do that because sometimes you get stuck in first person. Slam it low because we may race this. This may eventually become an HSW if I ever get that it would, you know, in PC land here. But Take it from being an okay car to the most dominant thing there is. Okay, wheel type. Muscle. I don't know if there's anything in muscle that really fits. I think we're going to have to go outside. That kind of does, that kind of does. And like the stock wheels are pretty close. What we want to do is 
That's pretty, yeah, that is really pretty close there. We go with the diamonds. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Diamonds. Tires. Bulletproof. And with those Decepticons shooting at your tires. Tire smoke. Get it out. Windows, light smoke. Are we there? That painted or is that let's go back to the rear bumpers. Yeah, it's carbon, okay. And front bumpers, I don't think they have like carbon street you have to take away. It only does that part there. The front bumpers stay the same, so we'll save the money. There it is. I did forget about Simeon. Feels pretty good. I didn't even know this bone will be almost random over. Let's take a look at the whole interior thing here. Vehicles, blah 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 blah. Okay, well where's oh here it is. Tweet tweet. Kind of a small trunk. You'd expect that from a muscle car. It has a, a padded shelf, so you could use that in the back seat. Big honking engine. Very nice, very nice. Now, if only there, it talks through the radio, you know? Now, there's something we have to do, of course. New car. I don't know how much longer I'm going to keep doing this. Because at this point, the chili at Hot Lab route isn't apparently even the best way up anymore. They found a new way. Somebody found a new way to do this. Have to learn that, but hey. Let's let's uh, stick with our own idiom for right now. So many muscle cars. I wonder if there was a way to deselect some of these from the racing menu so that only the ones you're really going to race. That, that, that's a different B altogether. Yeah, I, I don't know if I'd ever really be able to select this. That is a good looking B though. I mean, I'm sure everybody does it. I'm no, no different. I, Little bouncy. The bee doesn't like swimming. It doesn't swim well. No. I guess it's a good thing this isn't the best way. Anymore. There's the trick. Can we? With a slightly different approach, beat the trick. The answer is kind of yes, kind of no. The train is coming. Yes, how much I know. <laughs> the train has kind of a bumblebee pattern, so maybe slow down and recognize, you know? Whoa! Okay, I don't think we're making the beat in the train at this point. 
Yes, we are. If we just get down. Don't do anything cute. I'm going to try and jump on top of it. Come on, get some traction, D. Okay, we made that with some some time to spare. The yellow's a little bit off. They have to switch that to golden shower. That's almost a race yellow, you know? We need to match it up. This thing is really sensitive to bumps. I think I think Ruffy mentioned that in the review. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna we won't have to do that on camera, but I will tweak it up to the the more golden hued yellow as far as the, the lights are concerned. Alright, that's not bowing well here. I mean, we should have pretty good grip and more than enough traction, but more than enough power. I mean, we should have good grip and more than enough power. But the bush is still affected mightily. Avoid the bushes, maintain the momentum. Didn't think quickly that always screws me up to get up this way. Okay. Not sure I've sold on the louvers, but I, you know, I, it does it does fit the meat. Oh dear. That bounce might have screwed us. Yeah, we're in trouble. But the, the trail is right there, so if we can even just slide off to the right a little bit. Wow, a little kick there. Okay. We're not out of the woods yet. So far, I'd say this is, as far as chili at itself, it might not be the best choice. Yeah, boy, if it's raining, forget about it. But on PC, you got a generous top speed. Not the fastest thing, but not the slowest. If you get the HSW eventually, then it's ridiculous. I would love to take an HSW with this. It's flying. I don't know how we got that. We just nuzzled it up from underneath there, but I will take it. I do like the look of the car. I really do. I'll be honest, I was doing this kind of prefunctorily, you know, it's like, alright, you gotta get at some point a B and it at 1.3 million, why not? I'll be honest, I was going to only get one. I've already bought the other one for Rusty Jack. We're going to do that in a little bit. Because, you know, I thought about it. If, if we do get a bit of that, if we do get HSW, this thing is, you know, the fast, it dominates the muscle car class completely as an HSW. And it falls nice. Falls a little too well. Okay. Can we get out of here? Because you could get trapped. Oh, I don't want to go back up the mountain. Hold on. Now, if it would just transform, but well, we're trapped there. Maybe through here? Oh, I know it's all the wrong way. Right there. Oh, we're going to have to go back down, aren't we? Oh, now we're stuck. I even set this to GTA, too, so I can't really do anything. We're going to have to go back down. Go down the wrong side.
That looks like the wrong side, doesn't that? Now there you go, there you go. That's the road we want. Good save. Okay, so we can't let it flow quite as well. We have to be a little bit more on the brakes. Normally a G Fred you'd end up with a with a bicycle in this case, but hey. We're testing the car out, we're learning the car. Okay, we went with a little bit more yeet than we should have done. What happened even there? Okay, we got we need to beat and not almost die here. That's a that's a pretty full yeet. Tree. Whoa, right through the in and around the trees. Well, be careful this time. Okay. It doesn't feel bad, it just every once in a while you hit the bounce that's a little bit erratic. I do look forward to taking this, this car racing. Just not over bridges. I think the next win is number 500, too, as far as the next win against people. In case you're wondering in the flow this is. You, some of these wins you may not have seen yet, but they're coming. So what to do as far as that's concerned? Do I take this one out from the test drive? Whee! That was almost a, a smooth one. Looking very much like at the end of a Bayverse movie at this point. Although, at least he has his legs, you know? That actually was one of the, the nicer things about that, that first Bay movie, was, you know. Here's Bumblebee, he's lost his legs, and yet he's still kicking ass. That was nice. I'm going totally the wrong way. I will give him credit for that. I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the Bayverse stuff. And, you know, the, the ironic part, by the way, is, is that I'm not a fan of it for the same reason that I have issues even with the original 1986 movie because they just gratuitously kill off characters. And that's not what I'm there for, you know? Gratuitously. They gratuitously kill a lot of characters on both sides that you like, so, you know. It's not a bad look, guys. What's really odd is you never see this car on PC. I never see it anywhere. Not any of the races. Very rarely. I mean, this car. I just got this car. But I mean, you know, as far as seeing the Vajero ZX or whatever they call it, doesn't happen very often. Is 
Very nice, very nice. So, you want to see the other one? Here it is with a basic build on I mean, it. It's got all the performance stuff. I could race that if I needed to, but I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to do what I don't normally do and just go with the most aggressive build possible. So we're going to go, we already got armor and all that, brakes and all that, bumpers, front bumpers. Let's just go right for the secondary, the secondary stupor, secondary super splitter, right? That's the, the most aggressive, yeah, secondary super splitter, rear bumper, let's see, the overkill trim diffuser. You can make it like the same color as the trim. Let's go overkill secondary just because it'll match the secondary whatever we decide to make that. That way it'll match the front. Engine. Oh, did we not get the engine? We not get everything. Okay, well, let's just do that. Let's make sure we got everything. Bronze perfect double. What's the problem? Bronze performance double exhaust. Okay. Hexagon. Now let's go bronze. I've never seen bronze. When it, since when are they doing bronze? Grill. The secondary GT grill. There we go. The secondary will have to be something interesting pretty soon. Let's see. Now a lot of these are aggressive. Super aggressive looking things here. Um, I don't know if I want to go. You know, let's hold off on the hood just for a minute. We want to go to the delivery. Horn, we'll come back to lights. Neon kit, neon layout, neon noodle. I just wasted a bunch of money there for no reason. Uh, lights, yeah, let's do headlights, xenons. Are xenons kind of an obsolete thing anyway. Shouldn't we have something better here, you know? So, let's, let's, let's go most extreme again. Do I want just a standard racing livery? I mean, it's possible. I mean, they're funny in some of them. Like, that's funny. That's kind of cool. Boko racing. All right. You got the Dukes of Hazard here. The Dukes of Hazard on weed. I mean, this is just... Keep the doctor away, darling. Come on, Jesse, we want you to sing. Very refreshing. Yeah, you are, aren't they? Why is that big? Why? Why is this the, the weekend racer? Or if the generally had been stung by a bee and swole up. That's the, that's the look there. I mean, the standard stripes are, are good for a more, you know, uh, probably the, it's between the purple, because that's just wild. GTO racing, but it's not a GTO. Okay, you know, that's, we have GTOs. We have GTOs, we have Dodges. Why are we doing this on this car? I don't understand. It really has to be the weekend racer, doesn't it? It just it just does it's the goofiest thing we gotta go with the goofiest thing um let's go back to hood now what looks good let's see a performance hood scoop do we want to go with something that shows off the stripes uh, you got the, the the vanities vanity hood that seems to embrace the uh, delivery pretty well. But it's also not an air induction, you know? We want... Not that it's... Get, you, can, you can see from the block, that's not where it's getting it from. That's just... It's just cooling when you have the... 
like the vent. Where is the one with the big scoop? There's a race hood. Let me see it's just vented without slowing the car down. Streep Scoop Hood. That, that has some appeal. This is going to screw up the aerodynamics, which don't really matter. Of course, this thing has the aerodynamics. I don't want to say of a brick, but you look at the front end, it's pretty flat. A lot of that air is flowing. Racing scoop hood. Would that give you more of a Bernoulli effect? But are we going? We're going for a radical and extreme here. We're going goofy. That's this is. A, we're gonna go with a street. Not that the carb or anything. We're going street scoop. Horn. Obviously for the O1. Hold off on the light color because we still have to. Well, let's see, let's ponder louvers. That's one of those techno louvers back here. Chrome aftermarket louvers. Do we want to try that? We're not doing very much chrome on this so far. Let's make the secondary a chrome. We can just make them second, secondary aftermarket louvers and then they can become chrome if I make them chrome. Go with the second. I don't know that I'm going to keep this. Secondary GT mirrors. Now, let's just make them GT mirrors. We'll, we'll let that kind of flow with the whatever it is. The plate. Nothing says this can't be a Bumblebee tribute, too, because, I mean, honestly, they, they just paid gum Bumblebee however they want. The Dukes of uh, Bumblebee. There you go. Respray primary. Now I'm kind of open here. Okay, so that kind of shows you what the, the true livery is here. That doesn't look bad. Let's see how does how do these colors mix? Sunrise orange. <coughs> that has a pretty good contrast to it. I like that. There's your Dukes of Hazard orange. Or roughly that. Gold. You can do the Bumblebee Gold and give it the uh, the yellow uh, pearlescent. As a thought, the yellows, do yellow, do yellow. That's not a fair. That's that's a pretty funky look. Am I falling back into my citrus blends? And then again, gasoline green, or sea green rather. Okay, sea green. Where's gasoline green? There you go. That's a fair look. Hmm. Midnight blue. Into the blues. The orange and the blue always contrast well. Obviously, that this is this is the match my outfit look. Uh, I don't. I'm not feeling the rounds. I mean, they look. They don't look bad as far as they're not. They're not clashing. But for a radical build, purple. Ooh, now purple. Purple might be a for if you're going crazy. And it is opposite on the color wheel to the, uh, the orange, so it's kind of makes sense. Spinnaker purple. Midnight purple. Midnight purple, you can almost not tell. It's purple. It's so dark in certain situations. But it does take a pearlescent really well, too, so. Bright purple. Cool. 
cream. No, let's see. The white's not a bad look either. But it isn't as crazy. Lime green. We still haven't unlocked lime green. We have to work on that. I don't think I'd go for it on this build. Anyway, but I think it's between, honestly, purple and Duke's Azure Orange. Either bright purple. Or the true na 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 I mean, obviously, I like this just because I am a Gen Xer who grew up with the Dukes of Hazard. But is that the obvious play? Like that's that's like that's what people will do with this. Let's try and let's try and do something different. Let's go with the bright purple. And then we're gonna throw a pearlescent on it. Light blue? Hell no. I wanna warm that up. There you go. If we give it the orange pearlescent. <coughs> you wouldn't think that would work, but it does give it, it does warm it up a little bit, doesn't it? Oh, that's candy red. Where are we where are we looking? There's orange. But what about that candy red pearlescent? Wait, what are we getting from that? There's something too that it warms everything up a little bit. Let's let's go candy. Okay, candy red. That's different. Secondary color. Do we want to go with the same thing with the candy red? Oh, look, at, look at this, it affects the whole, um... There we go. No, that's not working. That's that's a bit too much of a... Normally I match the, the, the pearlescent with the secondary, but here it's, that's a little bit... Eh. Let's not do that. This is an opportunity to bring in some more orange. Did I pass the orange already? Okay, so now orange or bright orange. Neither orange really matches. Sun, sunrise orange. That's that's a problem because it's a kind of a clashing. It's like a darker orange next to the other orange. It makes the other orange look bad. Okay. Okay, I got an idea. Rather than just doing it straight up black. That flows. That picks up on everything. Okay, frost. Would frost match better? What matches the stripes? Yeah, frost white actually matches the stripe spares. That's another color I hardly ever use. They always go with ice. I think we're getting somewhere, gang. I think we're getting somewhere. Trim color. Frost white interior? What do you think? Or is this where we pick up? No, the orange isn't going to match anyway. So, frost white on the interior. You do purple on the interior as well. Oh, that? That's kind of working. I think we're working here. Roof. Secondary roof. No, no, I think we're going to leave the roof on. Skirts. Secondary skirts. Trim winged skirts. Okay, well, the trim and the secondary are the same now, so it doesn't matter. Let's go secondary. Make it look beefy. Uh, let's go extreme though. What's what's the most extreme secondary? Trim super skirts. Ah, secondary super skirts. Spoiler. All the big ones are are uh, are carbon. Because 
So high level, low level G2. We want the we want that one. Or we're, we're going extreme. Let's do it. The extreme wing. The most extreme wing. Sun strips. Nah, still not doing sun strips. Suspension already slammed. Transmission already boosted. Turbo already there. Wheels. What do we want to do here for this? Wheel type. Track. Rally throwback. Split star. Speed boy. Those those have kind of a bumblebee look to them too, don't they? Speed boy. And it is, you know. 90s running tropos. I mean, I'm not tying myself to the B right now, but. Where is the Speed Boys? Thinking Speed Boys in white. You see the purple? You could do purple. But then it kind of just blends them in. You throw on some. Throw on some frost white here, and now it flows right from the secondaries, and that's that looks good. Tires, tire design. Let's go atomic logo. Bulletproof already. Tire smoke. Uh, let's see. Do we do a new orange or purple? Orange or purple? Oh, we save a grand if we go purple. It's not going to match either way, is it? We'll do orange. We'll give it a little bit more orange. Windows already lightly smoked. And gang, I think we have it here. That wing. That's going to get caught on so much stuff. That's, gonna, that's going to... Uh, let's see, is it going to get caught on stuff? Can we catch it on something as deliberately as possible? That is my favorite I don't know! There might be some game physics here where it doesn't. Like if you can if you can get it with the wing, you're gonna get it with the nose anyway. Ooh, a tree. Shut up, Just a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely get it caught on stuff. Which is why I never do this. I don't know. You think we should pick one that at least is the same width as the car? Just so that doesn't affect the performance or ruin us in a race somewhere down the line? And is that ugly as sin anyway? <laughs> In the end result, I should do what I want. So let me let me see this here. We don't want to do it tastefully, but I mean, you know, that's at least inside the hips. See what I mean? You're pretty much inside the hips there, while still being completely insane. You're still Captain Insane on this. So there you go, Hasbro. Make this as an as a, an Autobot Transformer. Dukes of Hazard, modern paint scheme. This is about as different a build as I get, really, on this thing. I mean, I'm using the Frost White, which I never use. The candy. I'm using a candy pearlescent, not matched to anything, just to warm it all up a little bit. 
you can kind of see it in the L1. That's yeah, just red, which is kind of odd. And maybe that would have been better as an orange. But we're here now. Ooh, sorry about that. There's one little tap of the handbrake and everyone's dead. You see? Well, no, not everybody. Just that guy. I'll, I'll say, I, I promise you, my friend, I won't let this money go to waste. Should we, should we wait for the ambulance? Is anyone going to come and help this guy? Sometimes the ambulance doesn't come. Okay, well then. Alright, I think we need to do another scene change here to wrap it up. You'll see this, I think you'll see this in, in a future racing video, just to, just to do it. That's pretty well. Okay, could someone please cue Megan Fox here? This is clearly, clearly her scene. There we go. We can we can remake that that whole scene there. That was with the other car, wasn't it? I got one of those too. Oh, nice headers. You've got a high-rise double pump carburetor. That's pretty impressive, Sam. Double pump? It squirts the fuel in so you can go faster. Oh. I like to go faster. It looks like your, uh, your distributor cap's a little loose. Yeah? How'd you know that? Uh, my dad, he was, a, he was a real grease monkey. He taught me all about this. I could take it all apart, clean it, put it back together. That's weird. I just wouldn't peg you for mechanical. Well, you know, I don't really broadcast it. Guys don't like it when you know more about cars than they do. Especially not Trent. Yeah. He hates it. Yeah, no, I'm cool with, uh, you know, females working on my engine. I prefer it, actually. Okay, you want to fire it up for me? Oh. <laughs> on that note, ladies and gentlemen, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night. Oh.